Good morning, beautiful human. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back or welcome to the struggle if you're new here. I'm Rose. Today, I overslept, y'all. <laughs> Why did I oversleep? I woke up at 3.30, but I was so tired that I just went back to sleep. Another 20 minutes, then 10 minutes. It's now 4.50. I'm finally here. <sighs> Happy Monday. Let's get this grind on and make it happen. <laughs> Hey guys, workout is over. I'm not sure if today was my best performance, but it was a performance, all right? <laughs> I'm tired. I feel like I need a nap, but we can't afford to nap. There's a lot of things I put off yesterday that I need to get onto today. So today's goal is to be uber productive. I'm gonna see if I can log into work super early today so I can try to get off a little more at a decent time. And I'll tell you more about that later as to why. But for now, let's go home and nourish this body. But first, shout out to my partner today, D, you the realist, strong chick. Um, and you see those pull-ups I added today? I need to work on those. I have a resistance band that we're using. We're using, I'm currently using the thickest one. I wanna go down by one level within the next three months, which means I gotta work on the upper body strength, which honestly, I've been trying to work on forever, but I have not been consistently working on it. And it's perfect that next month's challenge, next month that's in February, um, our little mini challenge within the 75 Heart Program is going to be those push-up sit-ups and I forgot what the other one was. Jason, I'll ask him. But we're going to be working on those. So hopefully I build some upper body strength there. And then that'll be it. Today I have 22 or 2400 jumps planned. So I'll get those in. I'm also going to try to getting a cardio session at a night round so you'll see all of that and on to our meals today here's what i had for breakfast this morning some raspberries with a peanut butter protein milkshake and then i napped after this woke up with a sudden desire to meal prep so here's how that went i am going to be meal prepping some chicken tenders i have it already seasoned in this bowl i have two pounds of chicken tenders i added about three ounces of greek yogurt then um a few grams of this mrs dash garlic and herb seasoning still working with sodium then i added the everything spicy by flavor god and followed by some ranch seasoning i'm going to marinate marinate this in the fridge for about an hour an hour and a half and then i'm going to cook them in batches in my air fryer it smells really good and i know it's going to taste really good as well and then we prep some oatmeal. So here I have four ounces of steel cut oats, my favorite. Then I have in this a mix of eight ounces of water, eight ounces of milk. Some of it is in there. Then I'm gonna add two sticks of cinnamon, three sticks of star anise. Star anise is just a spice. It looks like a little funky star. And I am going to set this on high for four hours. And then I'll have some oatmeal for the week. Next up, I want to prep this super simple meal. It's going to be a turkey pesto wrap. So I'm going to use four of these turkey patties. They're four ounces each. Some kind of pepper, everything seasoning, some of this garlic and herb by Mrs. Dash, um, this pesto. And then we're going to start with the one medium onion. Just half of it will do. I forgot to tell you, you'll also need some cooking spray. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to use. It should take about about like five to seven minutes to cook the whole thing so let's cook I always start with a non-stick pan. I think I might have a coupon for when I purchase this. I'll link it below. This is not a sponsored video. I don't got it like that. But I spray it with some cooking oil and then I add my onion. I usually just let them cook until they start to brown in the pan because I don't want to add more oils. I add my garlic. I always cook with garlic. Most of the time I forget to tell you, but it's always garlic in there. 
Don't worry about the browning, it will go away. Then I go ahead and add the patties in there. These are turkey, but you can use ground chicken, ground beef, whatever. I prefer it with ground turkey or ground chicken. One thing I always do when I cook ground meat is I always make sure it's cooked thoroughly because I find that when I add seasonings, it's very hard to see the color. So I cook it all the way through. And then once I feel like it's cooked to my um, satisfaction, which is usually all the way through, I'll go ahead and add my seasoning. When I add my seasonings, if I'm cooking ground turkey or ground chicken, I find that I don't drain it. But if you're using ground beef, I would definitely recommend you drain it because it's a lot more fat. Um, when I add my pesto, I do weigh it out simply because pesto is high in fat. One quarter cup is like 220 calories. Here, I'm only adding about a tablespoon and a half-ish. Just enough to taste it. This particular pestle, you definitely taste it when you add it. So don't feel like you have to add a full quarter cup. A little bit definitely goes a long way. I usually turn off the heat at this point and just let the residual heat cook it off. Once the protein mixture is cool, I'll transfer it to a bowl. Here, I happen to have it where I'm trying to make four equals servings, but you, can, you don't have to do just that. You can just, anytime you want to eat, just put it out and put it in a wrap and ta-da, you're good to go. But I'm a little bit extra sometimes. I've been really enjoying some squash soup lately. So these are the veggies that I am going to roast to add to the soup. I have some carrots here, some white carrots and orange carrots. This is um, leftover butternut squash. The rest of that onion we just used, and I'm gonna use maybe a quarter of this broccoli head and get our soup going. So let's see what that looks like. By the way, to get these clean, I soak them in some apple cider vinegar. While that's soaking, I'll take care of the carrots and everything else. All chopped and ready to go. I'm just gonna throw this in the air fryer, give it a good um, round of cooking spray and we're gonna put them in a roast for 375 for about I don't know 20 minutes or maybe whenever they're tender whenever I roast veggies I like to do what we call dry roasting which is basically just putting the veggies in there raw with no added fat no added seasonings and then once the veggies are cooked or almost cooked to my liking then I'll go in and spray it to get some more color. I'll also add any seasonings at that point. And because I like my veggies super roasted, almost burnt, I just pop it back in the air fryer for some more crispiness. Because my quote unquote diet is so high in protein, I like to sneak in protein wherever I can. So here I am just basically cooking up some of that leftover ground turkey. That way there's nothing spoiling in the fridge. And I'm just going to use that to add extra protein to my soup. I also like to add chicken, ground beef, any source of protein tastes really good in this soup. You can also keep it vegetarian and add no protein and that's cool too. So I just dump all the veggies in the pan and then I put in some hot water in the same area air fryer pot and i'm going to use that along with some you can also throw in like some what's it called like <laughs> stock <laughs> beef stock veggie stock whatever i usually use the better than bouillon paste but i'm doing low sodium this week so none of that then i take my emerging blender and the goal here is just to smush the veggies or i guess Blend the veggies to your liking. I like my soup to be super smooth because as I eat it during the week, I'll add spinach, I'll add cabbage, I'll add something to thicken it up. Once it's all cooked and stirred up, um, here again, you can add some more sodium if you like. You can also leave the protein on the side and serve it up. But I go ahead and dish that out into a bowl and anytime I want a snack or a quick meal, I dive into that. This bowl will probably last me two meals because it's super low in calories. While we were prepping all those things, the chicken was still marinating. So just take it out about 5 to 10 minutes before you're ready to cook it. And have your air fryer preheating at 390 and you're good to go. Listen to that sizzle.
Pro tip, don't do as I'm doing right there, which is just overcrowding the pan. If you want them to be super crispy, just make sure they have space to breathe. I don't care that they're, they're crispy because I'm meal prepping, but if you do, give them space to breathe. I also like to make sure my protein is burnt on both sides. I like my food super cooked, okay? So I went ahead and I flipped it and I put it back in the air fryer. The only thing is I kind of forgot about it and it went from being like a nice extra golden to super crispy so yeah these were a bit super crispy and then what i'll do is when i make the next batch i'll take out the i don't know the grill plate of the air fryer and i replace it with another one i do have two grill plates if you don't have two grill plates i recommend just laying out some aluminum foil to begin with spray the aluminum foil that way after each batch if the aluminum foil is still good keep it in there if not you can easily replace it so the second batch of chicken was definitely much better than the first it was juicier it was still that golden color that i like and um 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend you can always flip your chicken halfway if you want it to be an even color on both sides if you don't mind you can actually cook the whole thing without flipping over and here's what the final product looks like by the time everything is prepped, your oatmeal should be ready. Please make sure you pick out the cinnamon stick and start anise from there because if you bite into them, it will ruin the whole flavor. So once you pick them all out, give it a good stir and then you can transfer it into whatever bowl that you're going to save it in. I usually weigh out my oatmeal and then I put it in my fitness pal and I eat it throughout the week. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little meal prep. Soon as that turkey mixture was prepped, I decided to make a wrap. Here's what that typically looks like. This is a low carb spinach wrap. I lather on some Greek yogurt for extra protein. Sometimes I'll put on some paprika and some seasoning as well. But today was a lazy day. So I just went in with some spinach as well as the mixture. Um, if you have avocado, oh my gosh, avocado in this would be so bomb. But I didn't have any. So hot sauce it is give it a good wrap if you're new to the channel <laughs> my wrapping skills at least when it comes to food wrap is pretty whack so i did the best i could here and then i served this up with a side of delicious red strawberries cleaned of course and then i chopped up some cucumbers to put on the side just to say i have some green veggies this right here y'all is one of the tastiest meals you can have you can make the portion small enough to have it as a snack but it's definitely super delicious and definitely something i reach for throughout the week okay so by the time meal prepping was done i went ahead and had a serving of the soup that i prepped i added in some spinach for a little bite some hot sauce give it a good stir you're good to go if you're doing low sodium you could sprinkle a little bit of salt right on top of that and it'll taste good too for my next meal, I had two pieces of those extra crispy tenders <laughs> with some carrots and tomatoes on the side just to make sure that I, you know, had enough veggies for today. And then don't laugh at my single spinach, but I had two of the juicier chicken tenders with a piece of corn. By the time I got to this meal, I was too tired and I didn't care for any veggies. And that's everything I ate today. Hey guys, it's actually the end of the day. Today was a long day okay i don't know where i went what i did but i do know that after i had breakfast i dozed off i was so tired i needed a nap today so i took one which kind of kind of messed up my day but it's okay i accepted it my body needed sleep and i responded to that i did read my book today but i'm not going to share anything because i am about to shower and then hit the hay so tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow i'll share something um today let's just say it was a good day protein goals were met and the other goals were close to being met and when i say the other goals i'm talking about like the uh, carbs and fats because you remember the main focus nowadays is the heavy on the protein making sure those goals are met and everything else will come in as close as possible fast today was really low i'm not sure that was intentional I was supposed to have peanut butter in my breakfast, but I thought it was going to be a bit much. So it's just poor planning on my part because I should have meal prep yesterday instead of trying meal prep this morning. But 
it is what it is <laughs> um i did make it to nine round for a second workout today met up with d and jason and boy we were tired okay this morning we really pushed we really lifted heavy so going into nine round was like uh, a little pick me up cardio you know <laughs> especially for me who's been sitting one behind all day working it was a nice little pick me up cardio i just finished my walk just finished my walk and um just a finished dinner that was that oh i also had a handful of roasted peanuts honey roasted peanuts right after the night round workout and that wraps up my meals for today i am going to hit the hay hoping to wake up tomorrow at 3 30 because this morning i snoozed and so tomorrow we're trying to get right back on track with the waking up and the whole morning routine thing and hopefully i wake up rejuvenated tomorrow and that's it I'll leave you with some clips from my workout tonight from Nine Round. And until I see you again, I make good choices, of course. The grind continues tomorrow. Good night. Bye.